In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus MgCO3, sulfuric acid plus magnesium carbonate. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. In this case, this is already balanced, so that step's done. Next, we write the states for each substance. So this is a strong acid. Sulfuric acid is one of the strong acids. It's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. We call this aqueous. Magnesium carbonate, though, we should look that up. We have magnesium right here and carbonate right here. We go down. That I, it's insoluble. That means it's not going to dissolve in water. So we're going to put S for solid because it didn't dissolve. It's a solid. Magnesium sulfate, though, we go over here and the sulfate, that has an S. That's soluble in water. It'll dissolve, break apart into its ions, put a little AQ after it. And then water, that's a liquid, and carbon dioxide's a gas. So we have the states for our ionic equation here. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we have hydrogen on the periodic table, group one, that has a one plus ionic charge. The whole sulfate is two minus. So we have two hydrogen ions, two H plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end, plus the one sulfate ion, and then for the MgCO3, that's a solid. We don't split those apart in net ionic equations. So it just stays MgCO3. On the product side, we have two plus for magnesium. It's in group two on the periodic table. And we said the whole sulfate, two minus. So we have Mg2 plus, plus that sulfate ion, SO4, two minus, plus we don't split liquids apart and we don't split gases apart in net ionic equations. So this is our complete or total net ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So let's see what we've got. I see in the reactants, here's a sulfate and here in the products, that's a sulfate. Let's cross that out. But that's the only thing, everything else is unique. So this is our net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus MgCO3. I'll clean this up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for sulfuric acid plus magnesium carbonate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus on this side right here, two plus over here. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, that will be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus MgCO3. Thanks for watching.